Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to be playing with an idea called Kessler Syndrome. And uh, basically we're just going to be trying to get some debris collisions to occur semi-naturally. Um, so of course we need a target to hit. And that target is going to be the space station which I just strapped to basically a big Saturn V and stuck in orbit. And now, of course, I need my debris. Uh, it's just a big pillar, and I'm going to dump a bunch of these little um, probe cores with RCS tanks on them. The RCS tanks to, you know, make them a little bit bigger, and the probe cores so they aren't counted as debris and deleted by the game. Alright, and we go ahead and launch these up on a rocket. And I go... I launched nine rockets, which gives me a total of 225 objects, including those boosters, but not including the station. Um... With the station it's 226 objects and that's enough to bring my computer down to about three and to four frames per second and that's part of partially because um distant object enhancer uh, lets you see them from very great distances um as you can see there there's little white dots orbiting kerbin so it lags the crap out of my computer but it does kind of look cool now, this isn't necessarily what Kessler Syndrome is. Kessler Syndrome is when one satellite gets hit by another, and then that debris goes and hits other satellites, and eventually you end up with a big cloud of basically um, space dust that orbits the Earth and destroys anything that flies through it. Um, now, this is as close as I could get because my computer was dying, but uh, that's what the night sky looks like after I went ahead and polluted space. Now this is the space station which I'm time warping, um, I was doing physical time warp because I kind of wanted to see if it would get hit, but uh, one thing I didn't realize, um, I stuck it on an inclined orbit so that it would have some relative velocity, but that also gives it the same period, so it keeps going through a gap in the debris, and it keeps going through the same gap in the debris because it has the same orbital period. Now there is some variation in the debris, so I'm sure eventually it might hit something, but that would be thousands of years of time warping in the future. So I'll just leave you with these pretty shots I've got of debris, and say I'm gone happy. Bye.